So I have rats. I love rats. I've had them since I can remember, since I was young. I've had them forever. They are amazing creatures. They are the most adorable little thing. I don't know how anybody in the world could say they're ugly and they're just like, ew, it's a rat. Oh my god, my hair is giving away. Like really, I can understand like sewer rats, rats in like the outdoorsiness, you know, the outdoorsiness. Oh my god, Sarah. The wild rats, okay. But the cute little adorable rats that I have to go buy off of breeders now because obviously Petco doesn't sell them anymore in California. They're adorable. I love my babies. I will, I just, I love my little hams. They're my little ham bones and they're my babies. And I don't want anybody to tell me otherwise because they're babies, they aren't rats. So that's all I have to say about that. But yes, I treat them like my children because I'm never going to have children. So I'm gonna have rats forever. I'll be like the weird rat lady, I don't know. But anyways, so I have two double critter nations for them. Well, I have a full like double critter nation unit that is not fixed and it's in the pro it's under construction. And then I have my full double critter nation with four rats in it right now. I'm going to be getting another one and probably one more. So I'll put six max until I decide until I'm like, you know what? Um, I need to stop for a second, get the other one fixed. <coughs> and so forth but it has taken me to like finally get to a, a to put all the shit that I have in my critter nation right now is taking me months okay it's taken many I mean like it's hard it's a giant ass cage you gotta put tubes in it. you gotta put ledges in it you gotta put put P rocks in it. If you know what I'm, if you're a rat person, you know what I'm saying. You gotta put like a bunch of shit in it. You gotta put lava ledges in it, water bottles, food, hideouts, hangouts, underouts, upside outs, all bunch of shit. So you, just, you gotta do a lot. But I love it. We are going to do a quick cage tour right now. I need to stop yapping. But um, yeah, I've, I'm. These are my loves. These are my babies. My little hams. And this is just my cage at the current moment. I still look at it and I'm like, you know, I could put more stuff in this. It's like, I could put more stuff. What else can I put in it? What else do I need in it? And I'm like, oh my God. But I have the, I took out the plastic trays. Let me just talk for a second. I took out the plastic trays that were in it because I, first of all, I don't know about you, but my ass cannot stand fleece. I fucking hate fleece first of all I hate that you have to clean it constantly you gotta always wash it in the washer and then it, it can still smell and then you gotta wind up throwing it away I hate fleece okay I'll do fleece just like like I have a little bit of fleece in there but that's as like a blanket or something I can't stand it as pan liners first of all it's just a pain in the ass because you gotta do the clips and then undo the clips like almost literally every week or more because of the smell I'm like no 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 so what I did, I'm talking to this I went to Bass Pro, Sh Bass Pro Shops. Oh my God, Sarah, it's not Bass Pro Shops. Bass Pro Equipment? Ba you know what I'm talking about. I get a mixed, I first, I always call it Bass Pro Shops, but it's Bass Equipment or some shit. I'll, you know what I mean. Um, and so I bought the metal trays, the top, the bottom, and on the sides as well. I had bought the stainless steel and then my recent one that I had bought for the smaller little ramps were the galvanized, I want to say, the galvanized steel, which means you have to coat them with a Rust-Oleum like dealio thing and I'm like, oh my gosh, literally this rat cage is a project, okay? I have never been to Home Depot so many damn times in my life like I have this year. Like Home Depot is my second home because my ass is there every weekend. It's like, I need to get fake grass. I need to get PVC pipes. I need to get Rust-Oleum. So what you do with the galvanized steel, because they are a lot cheaper than the stainless, like significantly amount cheaper, Although shipping, no matter what, costs you like almost $20, which is a fucking ripoff. Um, you go, you still actually save money because Rust-Oleum at Home Depot is super cheap. Um, you color, you coat it, and what I did, I had coated it with the blue. 
and then I coated it with a clear and um, we're gonna see how it goes but I mean it works fine it is a cheap al cheaper alternative if you don't want the stainless steels because the stainless steels are a lot more I know I spent like over hundred and thirty dollars on the two of the main big stainless steels for the upper and the lower I'll get to that in a minute but my god my god it's a lot of money because they charged me like 20 something bucks for shipping and I'm like Ugh. if Amazon can do two day shipping for free if I'm a Prime member, you guys do not need to be charging me. And it is not that heavy. They're very light, okay? But, I mean, if you could afford the stainless steel, by all means, I definitely recommend the stainless steel trays for the Critter Nation. And on the website, it's going to say Ferret Nation, but Ferret Nation and Critter Nation are the exact same size pans. So, don't worry about it. Um, so, yeah. Um, if you can, definitely get the stainless steel. Like, I, I have them. I recommend them. But if you... Don't want to spend the extra money, you don't have it, get the galvanized, just go to Home Depot, get some rosolium, spray that shit down, you're good to go. Um, yeah, so that's it. Like I said, I've had rats forever, I love them, they're my babies, let's get to the cage short and we stop yapping. Okay, so right now, I have this playpen that I bought for them, it's it already is dirty, look, I got this up, look, I got this off of Amazon, um, it's actually really amazing. But it sucks at the same time because it's not foldable and it just comes up by, I don't know. I got him a cat tree. As you can see, that's how tall it is. For now, I don't have much in here yet. And then there's like a dig box. I put mealworms in there. They love it. Um, there's a tube that they don't really fit in anymore. So here is one of the cages. As you can see, um, they made a giant mess. Look at the floor. Every day. And here is the other cage that is storage right now, but I'm in the middle of construction and getting that to look just like this. So, hi babies. Let me see how I can like do this. All right, so obviously this is a double critter. And what I have in here, these are the, I absolutely, this is the two, and a half I would suggest getting the three incher ones um, this is the stainless steel from the bass equipment or I'll put the link in the description down below to the place where I get it from it's bass something not bass pro shops like maybe it's not even bass I could totally be totally wrong but I'll put the link in the description down below this is the two and a half recommend the three these are the stainless steels this one I think this is the three this is the galvanized steel. As you can see, a little bit of a difference in the color. And what I did is there, it is blue inside here. I need to paint the outside, but I put the Rust-Oleum inside this. And I'll go and get the product for you, but let me just finish. I have bird ladders. Yes, a lot of toys that are for birds you can put in rat cages. So I have the bird ladder, a big long one. As you can see, going down there, I just put another one, a shorter one, into yesterday, and it just goes, like, up. And then what I have, what are actually the best, I have to say, these are amazing. These are wood ledges off of Amazon. I will put the link down below because they're, like, eight something. I have literally purchased, like, over ten. I think I have five for this cage and five for the other cage. And then what I did, because you know how rats love to pee, especially boys or ladies, whichever one, um, I went to Home Depot and I got a bunch of the fake grass. I cut it for the size. And what I did is I put the Velcro down. That way I can just take it off like you can see. I can rip this off of here, clean this once it starts smelling like pee really bad, which they have not, thank goodness, and then just put it back in. So that way you don't have to re keep replacing the wood because as you all know, wood does smell with pee over time. So this is a must. If you're going to get a wood ledge, please go to Home Depot and then just get the fake grass. And like I said, I just put, I just went and got the double sticky like Velcro and I put them all here so they stay down nice. And then I did that with these as well. And these are just smaller ones. As you can see, look how small they are. I got these off of eBay, you guys. 
Look how thick the wood is. I got these off of eBay for literally like a dollar something a piece. I will also put the link in the description down below for these. So I literally have like 20 of them all together. But like look at that. You can have one here so then they can hop on here. And then there's the big ledge here. And then I also have more like back here. You have them everywhere in the cage. I'm going to put more right here because rats just love to just hop on ledges everywhere. Here's a bigger one. Now when I first put these together, I got the free ones from Home Depot, the samples, before I legit went to buy the full like grass part. And so we have one here, one back there. Um, Let's see, I have this just random thing I got off of Amazon from the bird toy section. They don't even mess with it. It's like just for decoration. Um, what I also went and got at Home Depot were the PVC pipes you see like everywhere in this cage. So I put one here and then I hung, I connected this one. Hi, I connected this one together as you can see. I just connected it with duct tape. That's all you need, just some like duct tape. And then I drilled, well I had my grandpa drill holes in all of them and then I just put the um, Hi, can you move? He wants to be nosy. I put um, zip ties, which will be your best friend in this cage. Please go get zip ties. And I made the little loop in the zip tie, and then I put the um, shower hooks, which are another best friend in this cage. I put the shower hooks on all of them. So as you can see, zip tie, shower hook. And so they can go from like in here, um, through here, or in through this side onto their ledge, or just sit on top of it like they're doing. Um, what I also have, let's see, there's another PVC pipe down here. Lava ledges are your best, best friend. I have two only in here right now. As you can see, they do chew it. And then I have a giant, this wood thing I got off of Amazon for like seven bucks. Which again, they don't chew. But they love, I got these off of Amazon too. They love to chew the pumice stones. I noticed, as you can see, they chew the pumice more than anything. So, I just, every rat's different. Mine just love the pumice stones. Um, like I said, these are great. Anything chewy. Put as much chewable things as you can in the cage to keep them from chewing on, like, my zip ties or the PVC pipes. Um, I have a big tunnel in here that I got off of Amazon. It's really huge, as you can see. It's, like, the biggest one that you can get. I have it back there. Um, I have a pea rock. Um, this is just for the boys to mark their territory and pee on it. It's like a fun little thing to add. Not fun, but like, it's kind of a, I don't know what to say. It's like a, it's good to have in your cage just for them to mark their scent and pee on something. I don't know. I don't know. But I took that the other day from the mall because I'm like, oh my god, rocks. I need to go take more. But um, I also have a hammock right here. And I got that hammock off of um, eBay for like a two dollars. I have I bought a bunch of them. They have them in different sizes, but I just have the hammock there so they can kind of just fall into it or just use wherever they want. There's more ledges back there, and uh, they love this. First of all, they love their space pod. They love it, love and love it. I need to buy another one for them. And there's more ledges back here. And then all the way in the back, they have their little um, hideaway. As you can see, someone's in here. Who's there? Who's in there? We got, oh, we got two in there. But yeah, like that is all just the top level. So that is a lot. I mean, it, it's a lot at the top level. And I will say I did spend a lot of money on this cage. The stuff in the cage cost more than the cage itself. The cage itself obviously costs $200. I would say I spent a good $400 putting all this stuff in their cage for them. And I got to do that one. But on the lower level, we have another ledge. I have a lot of the little ledges everywhere so they can just, you know, jump into things. More ledges back here. Another um, like I said, the galvanized steel, as you can see, it's kind of painted. There we go. I spray painted it, and then I put a top coat over it. This is so it doesn't rust and get nasty because it can soak up the rat urine. Unlike the stainless steel, like this one's the stainless steel. 
um, but these are cheaper the cheaper route to go if you're just looking for something but as you can see this is the critter nation and they do fit perfectly in here um, we have a rope which I love 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 this rope okay I got this off of Amazon for like 10 bucks I think or 11 this is a thick really nice rope as you can see I need to order more but last time I went to go order some they were sold out so need to order more of those and I just stuck it right there um Dollar Tree basket um if you want baskets definitely go to the Dollar Tree they are amazing for baskets I just really don't go to the Dollar Tree for them I don't know I, I go to the Dollar Tree but I don't at the same time I, I don't know um I got these little toy balls at the Dollar Tree and I have them just like everywhere. Um, this is a great treat trainer. They love this. I put mealworms in here because that's their favorite treat. And then they have to like learn how to get them out. It's like a little treat trainer slash it's a, so they don't get bored. Just like something for them to do because rats love to let, they're very good problem solvers and stuff. Here's another ledge. Um, this I just bought off of, um, What's it called? I bought this off of Amazon. This was $15 right here alone. Um, I really don't know why I bought it. I bought it for the other cage as well. I guess it's just like a cool little toy. to. I know when they're down here, they make the noise. Um, I have this little hay thing I got off of Amazon as well for $15. It's for like guinea pigs and stuff. When you're looking for toys, definitely just look under like guinea pig toys, um, bird toys and stuff. Just be careful because if your rats chew on this, it is, um, they can't digest this because it's hay. And rats cannot digest like Timothy hay and alfalfa and stuff. Um, I have another big ledge back there. Um, obviously, as you can see, another wood toy. They refused to chew off of Amazon for like five. And then what you do, these little like hooks, these C hooks, you can also get these off of Amazon in a pack. They're really, really good. As you can see, I've hung them with these. Um, I have a bird rope here. And it goes all the way back there. And I have this bird toy, which is actually pretty cool. Because what you can do, this was also, the bird toys off of Amazon were expensive. This shit was like $17. What you do is you can hide little treats in here. That's just bedding. I put treats in here and here and then there's one there and one in the back and they can chew this and stuff and um, they get the treats out of there and it's another little like boredom breaker or something fun for them to do. They really actually like it. They do pick the treats out of there. Um, another big ledge. We have another PVC pipe right here. They love it. Like I said, I bought probably, let me see, one, two, three, four three, four, five, like five or six PVC pipes can fit in this cage or more depending on your setup. They're the best. Home Depot is like your friend when creating stuff for the cage. Yeah, I have another PVC pipe back there. This cage is so full, like I can't, I forget what I have. And all the way back here is another treat like trainer type, not a trainer, but they, let's see. It's another bird toy. And it is, looks like a mini PVC pipe, and then you put treats in there, and then they got to, like, dig in it and learn how to move it out of the way. But they do love that. As it looks like, I don't have any mousies in here, Danzy. Danzel's the only one. But, yeah, um, and then I also have a little bit of fleece. Like I said, I hate fleece, but the rats love it, and they love to cuddle and snug snuggle up in it, especially in the winter. Summer, not so much, but, um... What I'm experimenting with bedding is a mixture of aspen with paper. Obviously, the aspen bedding is like a, the better quality aspen bedding mixed with paper bedding because I was using the Carefresh. And from all the rack groups I follow, I heard it was just not that great to use. So I do enjoy that mix. I'm trying to, I'm still in the works to see if it's good on like, uh, odor control and stuff but it seems to be working okay my little butt my little uh my little guys are only a couple months old um i have a obviously i have a glass water bottle in here because it can't chew a hole through the 
glass water bottles. I need to add another water bottle up here. But yeah, that is the cage. And like I said, I totally suggest you get rid of your pans because they are a pain in the ass, like the, the plastic pans. Just because I, I think they're a pain in the ass. It's so much easier to take this tray, just go dump it out, refill it, put it back in, then unclipping it, washing it, drying it, clipping it back again. It's a pain in the ass. So this is like the best way to go. Hi, Charles. Hi. How you doing? But yeah, they, it looks like I had no rats in here, but I really have four. I'm getting more. Um, I have like another hammock down there. But yes, this cage setup is what that cage will look like. Sorry, it's behind the door. So yeah, they will both look the same. As you can see, here it is. I mean, it, after a while, once you start putting more stuff in, it does look overcrowded, but rats love a lot of just fun things in their cage. They like things to tunnel through and barrel through. It's better to have a bunch of stuff like this in your cage and your cage bare because it makes it, it gets boring for them. They just need stimulation and stuff. But these guys are lazy. Half the time it don't even look like I got rats in here because I got lazy ass boys. If they, This is like a girl's dream cage. 